Okay, welcome to this interactive online course on petroleum economics. My name is Mian, you can call me Mian. Uh, some of my credentials are I have a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering, a master's degree in petroleum engineering, and a master's degree in mineral economics. I have more than 32 years of experience in petroleum engineering, uh, economic evaluation of multi-billion dollar projects. And I'm author of four books, two on petroleum engineering and two on project economics and decision analysis. The objective of this course is to explain the ever-expanding role of economics in prudent investment capital decision making. Okay? The projects are becoming more and more expensive. We are finding less oil for the exploration footage we are drilling and the oil that we are finding either very small oil fields which costs more to develop and costs more to produce per barrel. Also the probability of success is decreasing with time. The more exploration uh, uh, acreage we are drilling, less we are finding uh, discoveries in them. Procedures used in preparing economic evaluations, I will go through the procedure that is used in uh, making e economic evaluations. Introduce vocabulary used in economic analysis, all the jargon that we use in the day-to-day -day economic evaluation, we will address those in this course. Relate the vocabulary to specific projects and ways of interpreting estimates that include uncertainty. We have a lot of uncertainties in oil and gas operations. We have to include uncertainties or address uncertainties when we are doing project economics. What you can expect to get out of this course? I want you to be comfortable with the concepts that are related to project economics. Be able to use common sense and logic. It's a very simple subject. Okay? It does not require differential equations or nuclear engineering or uh, physics or uh, things like that. But the only thing that is required in this course is logic and common sense. You have to relate theoretical background with what is actually happening on the ground. Relate theory with practice. Be able to appreciate the magnitude of capita required and related uncertainties. We are talking about billions of dollars, not millions. Okay? And there are a lot of uncertainties attached to these uh, billions of dollars. So we need to evaluate those uncertainties. And in light of those uncertainties, we, no we need to make our decisions. Be able to arrive at profitable indicators. Profitability indicators is the management will look at only five or six profitability indicators. They are not interested in all the numbers that will go into the spreadsheets to come up with these profitability indicators. For them to make decision, they need only those five, six profitability indicators. So what we will do is first we will discuss the data required to arrive at those profitability indicators. Once we have arrived at that, then how the management will use them to make decisions. Be able to use these profitability indicators to make profitable investment decisions. The course also comes with the quizzes. Uh, every module has uh, some quizzes that address the, the concepts we have presented and it, it also has assignments. So it will always help you to, to do those assignments and the quizzes in order to reinforce your understanding of the course.